Go to Romans chapter 3. Pođimo u Rimljanima posljednicu treće poglavlje. Verse 23 through 28. Od 23 do 28. Okay. Jer su svi sagriješili i lišeni su Božje slave. I svi su opravdani darom njegove milosti, otkupljenjem u Kristu Isusu. Njega je Bog izložio da svojom krvi bude pomirilište po vjeri, da učini očitom svoju pravednost, jer je ostavio nekažnjene prošle grijehe u vrijeme Bože strpljivosti, da učini očitom svoju pravednost u sadašnje vrijeme i da dokaže da je pravedan i da opravdava onoga koji vjeruje u Isusa. Gdje je dakle hvalisanje? Isključeno je. Po kojem zakonu? Po zakonu dijela? Ne, već po zakonu vjere. Jer tvrdimo da se čovjek opravdava vjerom bez vršenja zakona. Now I mentioned this morning that this is considered to be one of the most important texts in the Bible. Već sam jutro spomenuo da je ovaj tekst smatran za jedan najvažniji tekst u cijeloj Bibliji. And that it is the very heart of the gospel. Sažeta srž evanđelja. Well, tonight we're going to look at the heart of that heart. I sada ćemo pogledati srce tog srca. Središte srca. If you are able to comprehend what this passage is saying, kada bi mogli shvatiti i razumjeti što ovaj odlomak govori, it will give you such clarity in your understanding of the gospel. Dati će vam potpuno jasnost u razumijevanju evanđelja. Now in verse 23 we looked at the sin of man. U 23. redku gledali smo grijeh čovjeka. And between 23 and 24 we talked about God's reaction to sin. I od 23 do 24 gledali smo na Božje reagiranje na grijeh. That it was one of just hatred or wrath. Da je to mržnja, gnjev. And one of righteous indignation. I božanski prezir. Then in verse 24 we begin to talk about what God has done for the Christian. U 24. stihu počeli smo govoriti što je Bog učinio za kršćane. Da je kršćanin opravdan pred Bogom. Ne kroz dijela, već po vjeri. A vjera se temelji na otkupljenju koje je u Isusu Kristu. I tu smo stali. I sada ćemo tu nastaviti. We talked about redemption. Govorili smo o otkupljenju. This Christ shedding his blood for our sins. Gdje je Krist prolio svoju krv za naše grijehe. Because of our sins the the justice of God was offended. Zbog naših grijeha Božja pravednost je povrijeđena. And the wrath of God was kindled against us. I Božji gnjev je zapaljen protiv nas. By suffering the, suffering the wrath of God and dying, zbog toga što je pretrpio Božji gnjev i umro, Christ satisfied the demands of God's justice. Bo, Isus Krist je udovoljio zahtjeve Božje pravde. Now, it says the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. Što smo verse rekli, 24. 24. redak, otkupljenje koje je u Kristu Isusu. I want us to think about these words. Želim da razmišljamo o tim riječima. In Christ. U Kristu Isusu. You see, the Bible presents man as existing in one of two spheres. Biblija predstavlja čovjeka koji egzistira opsto u jednoj od dvije sfere. You were born in Adam. Rođeni smo u Adamu. And in Adam you have sin. I u Adamu imate grijeh condemnation osudu and death i smrt we were all born in adam svi smo rođeni u adamu but through faith we leave that and we enter into the sphere of christ ali kroz vjeru ostavljamo to i ulazimo u sferu krista instead of sin there is righteousness umjesto grijeha postoji pravednost his righteousness njegova pravednost instead of condemnation there is justification umjesto osude postoji opravdanje and instead of death there is life umjesto smrti dolazi život now this this is so simple to je tako jednostavno but it is so important ali tako bitno 
There are so many teachers who call themselves Christian. Postoje mnogi učitelji koji se nazivaju kršćanima. And they may, they may be professors with great degrees. Možda su profesori sa velikim diplomama. But they don't even understand what some of those children on this presentation understood. Ali možda i oni ne razumiju ono što su ova djeca na ovoj prezentaciji razumjela. That outside of Jesus Christ there is no salvation. Da izvan Isusa Krista nema spasenja. Do you understand me? Da li me razumijete? This is very very important. To je jako važno. This is not just some small issue. To nije nekakva mala stvar. In Christ we have God. U Kristu imamo Boga. Apart from Christ, izvan Krista, we have nothing. Nemamo ništa. Nothing. Ništa. And it's only in him. Samo u njemu. Um, you may be aware that uh, the early Christians were sometimes persecuted as atheists. Možda ste svjesni toga da su rani kršćani bili progonjeni u početku kao ateisti. Did you know that? Da li ste to znali? In the Roman Empire. U Rimskom carstvu. Now why would they be called atheists? Zašto bi se oni nazivali ateistima? Well, because in the Roman Empire, jer u Rimskom carstvu, there were thousands of gods. Bilo je tisuće bogova. And everyone was happy with everyone else's god. I svi su bili sretni sa bogovima onoga drugoga. You know, just like you have favorite players on a soccer team. Kao što imate one omiljene igrače u nogometnim ekipama. They had favorite gods. Oni su imali omiljene bogove. And sometimes they changed them back and forth. I nekad su ih mijenjali tamo i natrag. And they're all happy. I svi su bili sretni. Your god's okay. Tvoj bog je u redu. My god's okay. Moj bog je u redu. We're okay. Mi smo okay. A wonderful party. Prekrasna zabava. Until the Christians showed up. Sve dok se kršćani nisu pokazali, pojavili. And what did they say? I što su oni rekli? Your gods are lies. Tvoj bog je lažan bog. Vaši you're, bogovi su lažni. At best your gods are myths. Uh, u najboljem slučaju tvoji bogovi su mitovi. And at worst your idols are demons. A u najgorem su idoli i, i demoni. You're all wrong. Potpuno ste u krivu. You're wrong about everything. Krivu ste u svemu. There is only one God. Postoji samo jedan Bog. And one mediator between God and man. Jedan posrednik između Boga i ljudi. The man Christ Jesus. Čovjek Isus Krist. And apart from him, i iza njega, there's no salvation. Nema spasenja. He's the way, the truth and the life. On je put istina i život. And no man comes to the Father but through him. I nitko ne dolazi Otcu osim po njemu. There's no other name. Nema drugog imena. Under heaven. Pod nebom. Given to men by which they might be saved. Ljudima danom po kojem nam se valja spasiti. You see that's the scandal of Christianity. To je sablazan kršćanstva. But apart from it it's not Christianity. Ali bez toga nema kršćanstva. Listen. Poslušajte. Tomorrow I could be very famous in the United States. Sutra mogu biti jako slavan u Sjedinjenim državama. Everyone would love me. Svi bi me voljeli. I would be on all the TV programs. Bio bi na svim televizijskim postajama. All I have to do. Sve što trebam učiniti is change I hope you have this. Change from a definite article to an indefinite article. Od uh, određenog do neodređenog člana. That's all I have to do. Sve što trebam učiniti. I say this. Mogu reći sljedeće. Jesus is a savior. Um, we don't have articles. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, let me put it this way. All I have to say is this. Mogu samo reći. Jesus is my savior. Isus je moj spasitelj. But he doesn't necessarily have to be yours. Ali on ne treba nužno biti tvoj spasitelj. In my opinion, he saved you. U mom slučaju, u mom mišljenju, on je spasitelj. But your opinion's okay too. Ali tvoje mišljenje je također u redu. That's all I have to do. To je sve što trebam reći. But I will have denied Christ. Ali tako bi zanijekao Krista. If you say that there is any other way to God except through Christ, you have denied Christ. Ako kažete da postoji bilo koji put do Boga osim po Kristu, vi ste zanijekali Krista. I don't care if you've been pastoring for 50 years. Nema veze, nije mi stalo da li ste pastor 50 godina. I don't care if you have your PhD. I baš me briga da li imate čak i doktorat. I don't care if you teach in the greatest university in the world. I baš me briga da predajete na najvećim sveučilištima svijeta. Zanijekali ste Krista. 
Because outside of him there's nothing. Jer izvan njega nema And that's, ništa. that's the scandal of Christianity. To je skandal kršćanstva. And that's why Christians are killed. I zbog toga su kršćani ubijani. Because they say Jesus is the only way. Jer kažu da Isus je jedini put. Now please understand that. Razumite me molim vas. Because I've been told that there are quite a few people who call themselves Christians in Europe. Jer u rečeno mi je da dosta ljudi se nazivaju kršćanima u Europi. But they're liberal. Ali su liberalni. They don't really believe the Bible. Oni zapravo ne vjeruju u Bibliju. That's not a Christian. To nije kršćanstvo. You know, sometimes I get a loose thread on my clothes. Ponekad imam onaj konac koji mi se otkvači sa moje majice. And soon as I see it, i čim ga vidim, I don't know what it is about men. They want to pull the thread. Ja ne znam što se to događa muškarcima, oni vole povući taj konac. And my wife comes running around, running, you know, at me. I moja supruga trči meni ususret. With the scissors. Sa škarama. No! Ne! Cut it! Čekaj, odreži ga. Why? Zašto? One day I found out why. Jednog dana sam saznao zašto. I had a sweater on. Imao sam jednu jedan jednu majicu. And I saw a thread. I vidio sam jedan končić koji je visio. And my wife wasn't there. I moja supruga tamo nije bila. So I began to pull it. I počeo sam vući taj končić. And all of a sudden your just sweater begins to dissolve. I od jednom taj džemper je počeo nestajati. That's the way the Bible is. I takva je Biblija. That's why Christianity is. Takvo je kršćanstvo. You see if if you doubt part of this. Ako sumnjate dio ovoga. Then all of it falls apart. Tada se sve drugo raspada. And your and your message is useless. I vaša poruka je beskorisna. It's useless. Beskorisna. I was one time talking to a satanist. Jednom sam pričao sa jednim satanistom. And He was man he was against the Bible. I on je bio tako protiv Biblije. The Bible's a lie. Biblija je laž. The Bible's not inspired. Biblija nije nadahnuta. The Bible's changed. Biblija se promijenila. I said, man, you need to be careful. Čekaj, čovječe, malo se smiri. He said, why? Zašto? I said, because you're destroying your religion. Jer uništavaš svoju religiju. He said, what do you mean I'm destroying my religion? Kako to misliš ja uništavam svoju religiju? I said, where do you think you learned about Satan? Ja ga pitam, pa što misliš, gdje si ti naučio o Sotoni? The Bible! U Bibliji! You see, it just starts falling apart. Vidite kako se to raspada. The Bible is the infallible word of God. Biblija je nepogrešiva riječ Božja. And Christ is God's Savior. I Isus Krist je Božji spasitelj. And if you don't believe that, ako to ne vjerujete, you're really not Christian. Niste zapravo kršćanin. I can you know as I I'm from the forest I'm from the woods. Ja dolazim iz šume. I was raised on a cattle ranch. Znači odgojen sam na ranču. And and every year we have hunting season. I svake godine imamo sezonu lova. And we hunt deer. I lovimo košute, srne. Now don't get mad. Nemojte se ljutiti. It's how we eat. Tako se hranimo. You do too. You just let other people kill your food. Znači, i vi tako isto radite, ali vi samo puštate da drugi ubijaju živote umjesto vas. But at that time of the year, ali u to vrijeme godina, uh, people in the city, ljudi u gradovima, they want to hunt. Oni također žele loviti. So they come out to the farms and ranches. I ona dolaze na farme i na rančeve. And they're very dangerous. I oni su vrlo opasni. Because sometimes they don't know the difference between a deer and a cow. Jer ponekad ne znaju što je razlika između srne i krave. And so we have to explain to them. I onda im moramo objasniti. If it had horns like this. Ako ima rogove ovakve. If it says moo. I ako kaže moo. Don't shoot it. Nemojte pucati u to. Okay? You can call it a deer. Možete to nazvati srnom. But it's not a deer. Ali nije srna. Now why is it not a deer? Zašto nije srna ili jela? Because it has none of the characteristics of a deer. Jer nema ni jednu karakteristiku srna. Back when I was a kid, kad sam bio mali, there were these really mean guys in our town. U našem gradu bile su neki opaki dečki. And they would always take their goats and skin them. Uzimali bi svoje koze i onda bi gulili kožu. And then sell them to the hunters who got no deer. I onda su to prodavali lovcima koji nisu lovili svoje svoje srne. Telling them this is just a doe. It's a female deer. 
Znači, zapravo, jelene, ovaj, kaže, to je samo srna, ovaj, Here's, here's the point. You can call it a deer. But if it doesn't have the characteristics of a deer, it's not a deer. Someone can call themselves Christian. But if they don't believe the Bible is the word of God. And they don't trust in Christ alone. They're not Christian. You can be a Christian and believe a believe different things. Možete biti kršćanin i vjerovati različite stvari. None of us is perfect in their theology. I nitko od nas nije savršen u svojoj teologiji. But if you deny the scriptures or you deny Christ. Ali ako nećete pismo, ako nećete Krista, you're not Christian. Onda niste kršćanin. And he says here that our salvation, our redemption is in Christ. I ovdje piše da je naše otkupljenje, naše spasenje u Isusu Kristu. Out of him there is nothing. Izvan njega nema ničega. Now let's look at verse 25. Pogledajmo 25. redak. Speaking of Christ, it says whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation in his blood through faith. Znači njega, govori o Kristu, je Bog izložio da svojom krvlju bude pomirilište po vjeri. Now, the word propitiation. Riječ pomirilište. It's referring to a sacrifice. Odnosi se na žrtvu that satisfies the demands of God's justice koja zadovoljava zahtjeve Božje pravednosti and makes it possible for God to justify us i omogućuje da je Bog mogućnost da nas opravda while maintaining his justice a da on i dalje ostane pravedan now i want you to look down at verse 26 26 redak pogledajmo it's about the middle of the verse sredina redka It says so that God would be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. I da dokaže da je pravedan Bog i da opravdava onoga koji vjeruje u Isusa. This is the heart of the gospel. Ovo je srce evanđelja. As a matter of fact, it's the answer to what the whole Bible is about. Odgovor je to na sve ono o čemu Biblija govori. If you want to know what the whole Bible basically is about, ako želite znati o čemu se radi u cijeloj Bibliji, it's about expressing a problem izražaj problema showing us a dilemma prikazuje nam dilemu and then giving us the answer i daje nam rješenje throughout the whole bible kroz cijelu bibliju there is one great question postoji jedno veliko pitanje and it's this i to je sljedeće how can god be a just god kako bog može biti pravedan bog and yet justify sinners a opet opravda opravdavati opravdati grešnika if he's just ako je on pravedan he can't just forgive them ne može im samo oprostiti if he's just ako je pravedan he must condemn them on ih mora osuditi so how can god maintain his justice kako bog može održati očuvati svoju pravednost and at the same time justify men who deserve to be condemned. I u isto vrijeme opravdati čovjeka koji zaslužuje osudu. Now, I want us to go through the we're going to go through the entire Bible. Nećemo otići proći kroz cijelu Bibliju. And I'm going to show you this problem. Ali pokazat ću taj problem. Now it's not a minor problem. To nije mali problem. It is the problem. To je najveći problem. And I'm going to prove it. Dokazat ću to. Now first let's go to Exodus chapter 34. Izlazak 34. poglavlje. Exodus 34. Izlazak 34. Verse 5. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood there with him, that is Moses, as he called upon the name of the Lord. Jahve se spusti u liku oblaka, a on, stane Mojsije, predan i zazva ime Jahve. Then in verse 6 it says, the Lord passed by in front of him. Jahve prođe ispred njega te se javi. This is one of the greatest revelations of God in the Old Testament. Ovo je jedno od najvećih otkrivenja samog Boga u Starom Zavitu. And proclaim the Lord, the Lord God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness and truth. Jahve, Jahve, Bog milosrdan i milostev, spor na srđbu, bogat ljubavlju i vjernošću. Who keeps loving kindness for thousands, who forgives iniquity, transgression and sin. 
iskazuje milost tisućama, podnosi opačinu grijeh i prijestup. Now what has God told us about himself? Što nam Bog govori o sebi? He's compassionate. On je milosrdan. He's slow to anger. Spor na srđbu. He's a super abounding in loving kindness. On je bogat ljubavlju i vjernošću. Faithfulness, truth. Istinom, vjernošću. And then he tells us that he forgives sin. I onda kaže da oprašta grijeh. He says iniquity, transgression and sin. Kaže opačinu, grijeh i prijestup. Now, in the Hebrew, u hebrejskom, all three of these things mean slightly different kinds of sins. Uh, sve ove tri uh, riječi znače tri vrste grijeha. But that's not his purpose. Ali to nije svrha. What he's doing is this. Ono što on radi je sljedeće. When a Jew wants to emphasize something, kada Židov želi nešto naglasiti, he piles one term on top of another. On jedan termin nadograđuje na drugi. For example, we should, we should love the Lord our God znači, ljubi gospodina Boga svoga. with all our heart, soul, mind and strength. Znači, svim svojim, uh, srcem, umom, snagom, pameti. Now those do, do mean specific things. Znači, ovo sve mi, znači stvar. But what Jesus is teaching us is this. Ali, što nas uči, uči we sljedeće. need to love God with all that we are. Znači, da Boga sa svim što Every fiber of our being. Sa, sa svakim dijelićem našeg bića. So when he says here, kada on kaže ovdje, iniquity, transgression and sin, uh, opačina, grijeh, prijestup, he's saying that God forgives all types and kinds of sin. On hoće reći da Bog oprašta sve moguće vrste grijeha. God forgives all types and kinds of sin. Bog oprašta sve moguće vrste grijeha. Every sin. Svaki grijeh. All kinds. Sve vrste. Do you see that? Da li to razumijete? Have you got a hold of that? Da li ste to razumijeli? All right, now look down at the Bible. Pogledajte sad u Bibliju. After he says forgives iniquity, transgression and sin, nakon što kaže da oprašta opačinu grijeh i prijestup. Look what else he says. Ali što kaže dalje? Yet he will by no means leave the guilty unpunished. Ali krivca nekažnjena ne ostavlja. Do you see the problem? Vidite problem? On one hand, u jednu ruku, God forgives all types and kinds of sin. Bog oprašta sve moguće vrste grijeha. At the same time he says he will punish every sin and every sinner. S druge strane kaže kazniće svaki mogući grijeh i svakog grešnika. How can you have both things? Kako možete imati obje stvari? He forgives all types and kinds of sin. Oprašta sve moguće vrste grijeha. And yet he says he will punish every sinner and every sin. A s druge strane kazniće svaki grijeh i svakog grešnika. How can you do both things? Kako možeš u isto vrijeme napraviti obje stvari? Well, here's how it ha- here's here's the answer. Every sin that's ever been committed, svaki grijeh koji je ikad bio počinjen, will be punished. Biti će kažnjen. Every sinner that has ever sinned will be punished. Svaki grešnik koji je ikad pogriješio bit će kažnjen. But there's two ways that they're punished. Ali postoji dva načina na koji su kažnjeni. The one way is obvious. Ja način je očit. A sinner can be punished može biti by spending all eternity in hell. Tako što će cijelu u paklu. In hell, u paklu. sinners are being punished su for every sin they've ever committed. Za svaki koji su ikad and it will go on forever. I to će the other way every sin and sinner is punished Drugi način na koji je svaki grijeh i svaki grešnik kažnjen is in the person of Jesus Christ. Je u osobi Isusa Krista. When he was on that cross, kada je on bio na tom križu, he bore the sin of his people. On je ponio grijehe svog naroda. He bore the sin of those who would believe in him. On je ponio grijehe onih koji će vjerovati u njega. And all of God's punishment against them and their sin was poured out on Christ. I sa Sav Božja kazna i gnjev uh, protiv njih je bilo stavljeno na Isusa Krista. God cannot just look over sin and ignore it. 
Bog ne može samo pogledati na grijeh i ignorirati ga. God cannot just turn away and act as though it didn't exist. Bog ne može se ponašati tako kao da grijeh uopće nije ni postojao. God is holy. Bog je svet. He is just. On je pravedan. He punishes every sinner and every sin. On kažnjava svaki grijeh i svakog grešnika. And you can make a choice. I možete donijeti izbor. You and your sins can be punished for all all of eternity in hell. Vi i vaši grijesi mogu biti kažnjeni za cijelu vječnost u paklu. Or you can accept Jesus Christ as your substitute. Ili možete prihvatiti Isusa Krista kao vašu zamjenu. Upon him na njemu was laid all my sin. Je bio položen sav moj grijeh. And all the punishment I deserve throughout an eternity in hell. I sva kazna koju sam ja zaslužio za svu vječnost u paklu. Was thrown down on him. Bilo je položena bačena na njega. And he paid it all. I on je platio sve. Do you see that? Vidite to. So here's the dilemma. I evo dilema. How can God forgive all types and kinds of sin? Kako Bog može oprostiti sve moguće vrste grijeha? And yet he says he will punish all types and kinds of sin. A opet kaže da će kazniti sve moguće vrste grijeha i grešnika. Because of Jesus Christ. Zbog Isusa Krista. Who was punished in the place of his people. Koji je bio kažnjen umjesto njegovog naroda. Now I want you to go to Proverbs. Idemo u Izreke. Seventeen. Seventeenth poem. Fifteen. Fifteenth. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them alike, are an abomination to the Lord. Tko pravdava krivoga i tko osuđuje pravoga, obojica su mrski jahvi. Now put on your thinking caps. Znači moramo sad dobro uključiti razmišljenje. Let's think. Mislimo. Look what it says. Pogledajte što kaže. The one who justifies wicked men. Onaj tko pravdava krivoga, opakoga. Is an abomination to God. On je mrzak Bogi. Now what is an abomination? Što znači biti rugoba Bogu? It is gados. It is the worst. It's probably the hardest worst word in the Bible. Znači to je jedna od najgorih riječi, gados. There's nothing there's nothing worse than an abomination. Znači nema ni jedne gore stvari nego gadost. Now listen to what he's saying. Pogledajte što kaže. Whoever justifies a wicked man, tko god opravdava opakoga krivoga, is an abomination to God. On je mrzak ili gadost Bogu. And yet what did we study in Romans 3? A što smo proučavali u Rimljanima 3? God justifies wicked men da je Bog opravdao opake krive ljude. What did we sing about here? O čemu smo pjevali ovdje? God justifies wicked men. Bog opravdava opake. So there's the problem. I to je problem. How can God say? Kako Bog može reći? That uh, anyone who justifies wicked men is an abomination. Da svatko tko opravdava krivoga ili opakoga je gadost Bogu. And yet he justifies wicked men. A on opet opravdava opakoga Proverbs tells us that anyone who justifies a wicked man is an abomination. Da svatko ko opravdava opakoga je gadost. But we praise God because he has justified us. A mi opet slavimo Boga zato što je on nas opravdao. How can God do that? Kako Bog to može učiniti? Only in Jesus Christ. Samo u Isusu Kristu. Let, let me give you an example. Daću vam primjer. Let's say that we all live in a a small village. Recimo da svi živimo u jednom malom selu. And someone kills your family. I netko ubije vašu obitelj. They, they murder your entire family. Ubiju cijelu vašu obitelj. And, and you come home from working. I dolazite kući s posla. And you see the murderer standing over your family. I vidite tog ubojicu da stoji nad vašom obitelji. And you grab him. I uhatite ga. You tie him up. Zavežete ga. You call the police. Zovete policiju. And the police take him to the judge. I policija ga vodi kod suca. And all the people in the village know you. I svi ljudi u selu vas poznaju. They love your family. Oni vole vašu obitelj. And so they're all in the courtroom. I svi su sudnici. And the judge comes in. I dolazi sudac. And this is what he does. I evo što on radi. I am compassionate. 
Ja sam suosjećan. And slow to anger. I spor na srđbu. And abounding in loving kindness. I bogat ljubavlju i milosrđem. Therefore, i zbog toga, even though you murdered an entire family in this village, iako si pogubio cijelu obitelj u tom selu, I pardon you. Ja te oslobađam. Go free. Idi slobodan. How are you going to respond? Kako ćete reagirati? Are you going to say, oh my, what a wonderful judge. I da li ćete reći, oh kako divan sudac. He's so compassionate. On je tako suosjećan. No, that's not what you're going to say. Ne, nećete to reći. You're going to, you're going to write the mayor. Pisat ćete gradonačelniku. Maybe the, maybe the, all the, the big powerful politicians in Zagreb. Znači svi moćnim političarima u Zagrebu. You're going to call the newspaper. Zaćete novine. You're going to say there is a judge on the bench. I rečete postoji sudac tamo. That is so corrupt. Koji je toliko korumpiran. He must be removed. Njega se treba ukloniti. Why? Zašto? Because he justified a wicked man. Jer je opravdao opakog čovjeka. Everywhere I go in the world. Svuda gdje idem po svijetu. Even in my own country. Čak i u svojoj zemlji. That's the complaint of the people. To je prigovor ljudi. The judges are corrupt. Da su suci korumpirani. They don't do justice. Da ne vrše pravdu. So how can God pardon wicked men? Kako Bog može oprostiti opakom? It is only because God's son died in their place. Jedino je umro na njihovo mjesto. Do you see that? Vidite to. Now let's look at Proverbs 24. Pogledajmo Izreke 24. Verse 24. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous. People will curse him, nations will abhor him. Tko opak umoj veli, pravedan si, proklenju ga narodi i kunu ga puci. What does God do? Što Bog radi? He says to the wicked, you are righteous. On kaže opakome, ti si pravedan. And what do we do because of that? I što mi radimo zbog toga? Do we curse him? Da li ga kunemo? We praise him. Ne, mi ga slavimo. And all of this is only possible because God has maintained his justice. A to je sve moguće zato što je Bog i dalje ostao pravedan. And that he put our sins on his son. I što je stavio naše grijehe na njegovog sina. And his son died in our place. I da je njegov sin umro umjesto nas na našem mjestu. Now, go back to Romans. Idemo natrag na Rimljanima. Look at chapter 4. Četvrto poglavlje. Verse 7. Sedmi redak. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds have been forgiven and whose sins have been covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will not take into account. Blago onima kojima su oproštena bezakonja i kojima su pokriveni grijesi. Blago onom kome gospodin zaista neće uračunati grijeha. Now look at this. Pogledajte to. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds have been forgiven. Blago onima kojima su oproštena bezakonja. How can God be just? Kako Bog može biti pravedan? And just forgive lawless deeds. I samo oprostiti ta bezakonja. And then look what it says. I dalje pogledajte što kaže. And whose sins have been covered. I kojima su pokriveni grijesi. How can God be a just God and at the same time cover sin? Kako Bog može biti dalje pravedan Bog a i dalje prekrivati pokrivati grijehe? In uh, in English we say that the judge sweeps the sin under the rug. Znači, u engleskom kažemo i mi isto da on pomete grijehe ispod tepiha. He's a corrupt judge. Uh, onaj koji sudac koji to radi, on je korumpiran. He sweeps the sin under the rug. Da, da te grijehe samo pomete ispod tepiha. He covers it. On ih pokriva. But here it says God covers sin. A ovdje kaže da Bog pokriva grijeh. Are you beginning to see what I'm saying? Da li počinjete svačati što govorim? God is just. Bog je pravedan. How can he forgive wicked men? Kako može opravdati i oprostiti opakom čovjeku? God is just. Bog je pravedan. How can he cover their sin? Kako može pokriti njihove grijehe? There's only one answer. Samo jedan odgovor. In the person of Jesus Christ. U osobi Isusa Krista. God in his righteousness. Bog u svojoj pravednosti. He condemns the world. Ono suđuje svijet. God in his love. Ali Bog u svojoj ljubavi. Devises a plan. 
Proviđa plan. In which God becomes man. U kojem Bog postaje čovjekom. And he walks on this earth as a man. I hoda ovom zemljom kao čovjek. The God man. Čovjek Bog. Bogo čovjek. And then on Calvary. I onda na križu Golgota. He takes the place of his sinful people. Uzima grijehe svog griješnog naroda. And all of their sin is put on him. I sav njihov grijeh je stavljen na njega. And then all the wrath of almighty God that you deserve. A sav gnjev sve mogućeg Boga kojeg vi zaslužujete. It falls down on the head of Christ. Pada na glavu Isusa Krista. It crushes him. I slama ga. And then he dies. I onda umire. And the justice of God has been satisfied. I Božja pravda je zadovoljena. Do you see that? Vidite to? Now, let's look at the cross for a moment. Pogledajmo križ na trenutak. Jesus is in the garden of Gethsemane. Isus se nalazi u Gethsemanskom vrtu. And he cries out three times. I on viće vapi tri puta. Let this cup pass from me. Neka me ovaj kalež mi mojiđe. Not my will. Ali ne moja volja. But yours. Nego tvoja neka volja. And he is in anguish. I on je u tjeskobi. He is sweating as drops of blood. Njegove, njegov zno je poput kaplji krvi. What's happening? Što se događa? Well, first of all, you need to understand something. Morate prvo razumjeti nešto. Jesus is God. Isus je Bog. But he has laid aside the privileges of his deity. Ali on je ostavio po strani privilegije njegovog božanstva. The use of his deity. Uporabu svog božanstva. And he's walking on this earth as a man. I on hoda ovom zemljom kao čovjek. The Bible says he not only grew in stature but he grew in wisdom. Biblija kaže da je rastao i u zrelosti i u mudrosti. By the time he's 12, do 12. godine, we know he knows that he has a very special relationship with God. On mi znamo da on zna da ima poseban odnos sa Bogom. He says I'm in my father's house. On kaže ja sam u kući svoga oca. As time goes on, dok vrijeme odmiče, more and more is revealed to him sve više mu je otkriveno about what it would take for him to redeem his people. Što je potrebno da on učini da otkupi svoj narod? But you see, in the Garden of Gethsemane ali u Getsemanskom vrtu is the first time prvi puta when everything is made known to him. Gdje mu je sve obznanjeno. Everything it would take for him to die for his people. Sve što je trebalo u da on umre za svoj narod. Now why was this necessary? Zašto je to bilo nužno? Because he had to make a voluntary decision. Zato što je on trebao napraviti dobrovoljnu odluku. He had to choose freely to give himself. On je morao dobrovoljno odlučiti da će se predati. And he had to choose freely with full knowledge of what it would take to save his bride. I on je trebao sa, sa potpunom spoznajem uh, znati što je potrebno da se njegova uh, zaručnica otkupi. And it hit him in the chest like a truck. I to ga je pogodilo u njegova prsa kao da ga je kamion pogodio. No. No. Let this cup pass from me. Neka ovaj kalež me mimojiđe. Now people say, well, was he disobeying? Ljudi će reći, da li on tu ne poslušao? Because he said, not my will. Jer kaže, ne moja volja. I, I don't want to do this. Ja to ne želim. That's what he said. To kaže. Was he disobeying? Da li on ne poslušao? No. Ne. What you've got to see is he was really a man. A morate vidjeti da on bio stvarno čovjek. He was really God. Stvaran Bog, pravi Bog. But he was really a man. Ali pravi čovjek. And as a man, he loved God with all his heart, soul, mind and strength. I kao čovjek on je ljubio Boga sa svom svojom dušom, snagom, umom. And it is revealed to him. I bilo mu je objavljeno. What's going to happen? Što će se dogoditi? God is going to remove his favorable presence from you. Bog će maknuti svoju blagonaklonu prisutnost od njega. And then God is going to make you the object of his punishment. I da će Bog njega učiniti objektom njegove kazne. He will abandon you. On će ga napustiti. And he will crush you under his wrath. I pod njegovim gnjevom će se slomiti. When he says let this cup pass from me. Kada kaže neka mi mimojiđe taj kalež. It's just the normal response. To je normalna reakcija. To pain. Na bol. The normal response to being abandoned of God. Normalna reakcija na odbacivanje Boga. Od Boga. 
But he says, Ali kaže, not my will, ne moja volja, but yours. Već tvoja neka he overcomes. On je pobjedio. Now, what was in the cup? Što je u toj, u tom kaležu? What was in the cup? Što je bilo u tom kaležu? I have heard preachers say this. Čuo sam da propovjednici kažu puno stvari. He looked forward, you know, into the future. On je gledao u budućnost. And he saw the Romans beating him. I vidio je da će ga Rimljani tući. He saw his back being bloodied. Vidio je da će mu leđa biti sakrvala. He saw the crown of thorns on his head. Vidio je tu trnovu krunu na svojoj glavi. He saw the nails in his hands and his feet. Vidio je čavlu u svojim rukama i nogama. He saw the cross. Vidio je križ. And he said no. I rekao ne. No, that's not what happened. Ne, to nije ono što se dogodilo. Do you know this? Da li znate? That for 300 years after the death of Christ, da tri stotine godine nakon smrti Kristove, countless Christians were crucified. Da su bezbrojni kršćani bili razapeti. They were beaten. Bili su tučeni. They were crucified. Razapeti. And many of them were covered with a crude form of kerosene and sat on fire. I mnogi od njih su bili posipani kerozinom i zapaljeni. And History tells us that many of them went to the cross singing hymns. I povijest nam kaže da su mnogi od njih išli na taj križ pjevajući himne. Full of joy. Puni radosti. That they could suffer for their master. Da mogu trpiti za svog gospodara. So are you going to tell me that the captain of their salvation is terrified of the very thing that they did with joy? I da li ćete mi reći da je kapetan njihovog spasenja užasnut zbog iste stvari zbog koje će njegovi sljedbenici s radošću primiti? Znate što je bilo u tom kalažu? Reći ću vam što je bilo u kalažu. U tom kalažu nalazio se gnjev svemogućeg Boga. God's holy hatred against evil. Božja sveta mržnja naspram grijeha that should be poured out on every one of us throughout eternity in hell koja treba biti izlivena na svakog pojedinog od nas za svu vječnost u paklo that's what was in the cup to je bilo u kaležu now he goes to the cross i onda ide na križ and he cries out my god my god why have you forsaken me i onda kaže bože moj bože moj zašto si me ostavio What's happened? Što se dogodilo? God has abandoned him. Boga je odbacio. In what way? Na koji način? He is doing the will of God. On vrši volju Božju. He is in the very center of the will of God. On je u središtu Božje volje. Yet at the same time, ali u isto vrijeme, you and I, vi ja, should suffer for eternity in hell. Trebali bi patiti za cijelu vječnost u paklu. Under the wrath of God. Pod osudom i gnjevom Božim. And utterly abandoned. I potpuno odbačeni. With no sense of the favorable presence of God. Bez osjećaja blagonaklone prisutnosti Božje. In order to suffer in our place. Da bi trpio na našem mjestu. Christ had to suffer what we would have suffered. Krist je morao trpjeti učinu. Ono što bi smo mi trebali trepiti. God removes his favorable presence. Bog je maknuo njegovu blagonaklonu prisutnost. And now coming down upon him is nothing but the fierce anger of God. I sada na njega dolazi ništa drugo osim žestokog gnjeva Božja. All the justice of God against your evil. Sva Božja pravda protiv tvog i mog grijeha. Have you not read in Isaiah 53? Zar niste čitali u Izaji 53? Verse 10. Deseti redak. It pleased the Lord to crush him. Svidje se Bogu da ga udari. That does not mean that God the Father took delight in crushing his son. To ne znači da je Bog otac uživao u slamanju njegovog sina. What it means is that this was the only way to accomplish the will of God. To znači da je to bio jedini način This is the This was the only way to redeem his people. To je bio jedini način po kojem se njegov narod mogao otkupiti. And by being crushed under wrath. Tako što je bio potpuno slomljen, udaren po tim gnjevima. Christ was fulfilling God's eternal plan of redemption. 
Christ je ispunio Boži vječni plan otkupljenja. And making a way for you and me to be saved. I providio put, način po kojem se ti ja možemo biti spašeni. Now look at this. Pogledajte sljedeće. Look what God has done. Pogledajte što je Bog učinio. Look at this. Pogledajte to. In the mind of God. U Božjem umu. The only way you can be saved. Jedini način na koji se vi možete spasiti. Is if his son suffers this. Jest taj da njegov sin sve to pretrpi. His son dies in your place. Da njegov sin umre na vašem mjestu. Abandoned of God. Odbačen od Boga. And crushed under the wrath of God. I udaren slomljen pod gnjevom Božjim. The only way. To je jedini način. You can be saved. Po kojem se ti možeš spasiti. So now you see why some of us get so angry. Sada vidiš zašto se neki od nas naljute. When so-called Christian preachers, kada takozvani kršćanski propovjednici, in the name of ecumenicalism and love, u ime ekumenizma i ljubavi, say you really don't need Jesus to be saved. Ti stvarno ne trebaš Isusa da bi bio spašen. Those little teenagers at these camps that we saw in the film. Ovi tineđeri koji smo vidjeli na filmu. They know better than that. Oni znaju bolje od toga. They know there's only one way to be saved. Oni znaju da postoji samo jedan put spasenja. It's through the death of Jesus. Kroz smrt Isusa. You see that? Vidite to. Christ died for sinners. Krist je umro za griješnike. And it was absolutely necessary. I bilo je apsolutno nužno. And there is no other way. I nije bilo drugog puta. Now I want you to look at verse 25. Pogledajmo 25. redak. Look at the very first part of it. Prvi dio. Speaking of Jesus Christ. Govori o Isusu Kristu. He says whom God displayed publicly. Njega je Bog izložio javno. Now why why is he saying this? Zašto to kaže? Um When you go to some vacation spots in the United States, na neka mjesta za godišnji odmor u Americi, where the mountains are so beautiful, gdje su planine tako prekrasne, there's a problem. Postoji problem. When you're going down the road, the highway, karedete cestom, there are so many signs advertising the beauty you can't see it. Postoji toliko puno reklama koji reklamiraju tu ljepotu da tu ljepotu ne možete ni vidjeti. I mean, there's signs everywhere. Toliko znakova. See the beautiful Smoky Mountains. Pogledajte prekrasne planine. You're like Smoky Mountains. I I can't. There's too many signs. Ne mogu vidjeti. Postoji puno znakova. That's what a placard is. That that's that's what he's saying here. To je ono što govori ovdje. God displayed Christ publicly. Bog je javno izložio Krista. His crucifixion was public. Njegovo razapeće je bilo javno. It was at the very center of the religious universe. Bilo je u samom središtu religijskog svemira. When people think about one place of religion in the world, what do they think about? Kada ljudi razmišljaju o jednom mjestu gdje je sva religija svijeta, misle o Jerusalem. Jeruzalemu. If a Jew thinks about religion, a city, what does he think about? Ako židov misli o religijskom centru, Jerusalem. Jeruzalem. A Muslim. Muslimani. Jerusalem. Jeruzalem. Christian. Kršćani. Jerusalem. Jeruzalem. What's everybody fighting about? Jerusalem. Ljudi svi bore zbog Jeruzalema. There in Jerusalem. Tamo u Jeruzalemu. At the religious center of the universe. U religijskom centru celog svemira. Hung up on a cross. Visio je na križu. God displayed his son. I Bog je javno prikazao izložio svog sina. Why? Zašto? You say well so he died for us. Reći ćemo umro je za nas. That's true. Istina. But God is saying something else here. Ali Bog kaže nešto drugo ovdje. He publicly displayed him. Javno ga izložio. Why? Zašto? Look at the rest of verse 25. Ostatak 25. redka. This was to demonstrate his righteousness. Da učini očitom svoju pravednost. So God publicly displayed his son on a cross. Znači, Bog je javno izložio svog sina na križu. In order to demonstrate or prove that God is righteous. Da učini očitom, da dokaže da je Bog pravedan. 
Now why is it necessary for God to prove that? Zašto je Bogu nužno to dokazati? He tells us. Kaže nam. Verse 25. Because in the forbearance of God he passed over the sins previously committed. Jer je ostavio nekažnjene prošle grijehe u vrijeme Božje strpljivosti. Now listen to this. Poslušajte ovo. This is important. Ovo je važno. He publicly displayed his son to prove to the world that he was righteous. That God is righteous. Why did God have to do that? Because throughout all of human history he has shown his forbearance or mercy. He has shown his His grace and compassion. He has shown it so much to sinners that the argument could be made that he's really not righteous. Now let me give you an example. It's kind of a, a little bit of a drama. Now think about Satan for a moment. We don't know a whole lot about him. Ne znamo baš puno o njemu. As a matter of fact, sometimes I see books and they're like this big on Satan and I'm like, where'd they get all that information? Nekad vidim knjige ovako debele velike o Sotoni i ja se pitam, pa odakle im sve te informacije? Now we know he's a person. Znamo da je osoba. He has fallen. Znamo da je pala. He's angelic and corrupt. Da je anđelsko palo pokvareno biće. He is an en- the enemy of God. On je neprijatelj Boži. He opposes God. On se protivi Bogu. Now I want you to think about something. When he sinned, and the angels sinned with him, what did God do? Perfect justice. Just a question. Did God send Satan and the angels a savior? No. You know what? Znate zašto? He didn't have to send you one either. Znate što ni tebi ni meni nije trebao poslati. He didn't. Nije trebao. If he had let us all die and go to hell, he would still be God. Da je da nas je sve pustio i ostavio da idemo u pakao, on bi i dalje bio Bog. You see when he judged Satan, kada je on osudio Sotonu, there was no theological philosophical problem to answer. Uopće nije bio nikakav teološki, filozofski problem na koji je trebalo dati odgovor. He gave Satan exactly what he deserved. On je dao Sotoni upravo ono što je on zaslužio. No explanation necessary. Nije bilo potrebno objašnjenje. But Adam and Eve sinned. Ali Adam i Eva su se griješili. And what did God do? I što je Bog učinio? He showed them grace. Dao, pokazuje im je milost. And he gave them a promise. I dao im je objećanje. Genesis 3.15 Postanak 3.15 Someone would come. Netko će doći. Born of woman, rođen od žene, crush the head of the serpent, i razbiće glavu zmi, and somehow bring a work of redemption. I na neki način donijeti svijetu otkupljenja. Imagine Satan, zamislite Sotonu, the accuser, tužitelja, God, Bože, what's this all about? O čemu se tu radi? I fell, ja sam pao. There's perfect justice, i postoji savršena pravda. What about them? A što s njima? Where's your justice? Gdje je tu tvoja pravda? How do you explain mercy? Kako objašnjavaš to milost? They have rebelled against you. Oni su se pobunili protiv tebe. Justice demands their death. Pravda zahtjeva njihovu smrt. And Noah. Noah. Explain Noah. Objasni Noah. And the others in the boat with him. Svi ostali u čamcu s njim. Noah should have died. Noah bi trebao poginuti. He should have. Do you realize that? Znate li to? Noah was a sinner. Noah bio grešnik. Noah should have died. Noah je trebao poginuti. Where is your justice, God? Gdje je tvoja pravda, Bože? Abraham? Abraham. He lied. On je lagao. He put his wife in jeopardy. Ostavio svoju ženu u opasnost. And he did not believe you. I nije ti vjerovao. Oh, and you call him your friend? I ti ga nazivaš svojim prijateljem. Where is your justice? Gdje je tvoja pravda? And Israel? A Izrael? Israel? Israel. They worshipped me in the desert for 40 years. U 40 godina oni su mene štovali u pustinji. You said so yourself. I sam si to rekao. And yet you give them promises? A opet im daješ obećanja. Promises you will keep? Obećanje da će koje ćeš održati. They deserve death. Oni zaslužuju smrt. Oh, and David? A David. 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 He murdered. On je ubojica. He committed adultery. 
bio je učinio preljuba. Even the law says he must die. Čak i zakon kaže da mora umrijeti. And you call him a son? A ti ga nazivaš sinom. Where is your justice? Gdje je tvoja pravda? Do you see? Vidite to. 2000 years ago. Prije 2000 godina. It's as though God called all court. Bog je sazvao sav sud. Satan stepped forward. I Satan istupio. Angels stepped forward. Angeli su istupili. Do you want to know how I can give a promise to Adam and Eve? Znate li zašto sam mogao dati obećanje Adamu i Evi? Do you know how I do you want to know how I can save Noah and those others in that boat? Znate kako sam mogao spasiti Noa i ostale u tom brodu? You want to know how I can be just and call Abraham my friend? Da li znate zašto mogu biti pravedan i dalje nazivati Abrahama svojim prijateljem? Do you know you want to know how I can forbear and have patience with Israel? Znate li zašto sam toliko strpljiv i blagonaklon Izraelu? Do you want to know how I can call David my son? Da li znate zašto mogu nazvati Davida svojim sinom? Look right now to Jerusalem. Pogledajte sada na Jeruzalem. Look to Calvary. Pogledajte na Kalvariju. There my son dies for them all. Tamo je moj sin umro za sve njih. And so on that cross, i na tom križu, once and for all, jednom za uvijek, God silenced all accusations of injustice. Bog je ušutkao sva optuživanja zbog nepravednosti. And he proved that he could have mercy on the sinner. I dokazao je da on može dati milosrđe grešniku. And yet maintain his justice. A i dalje obdržati svoju pravdu. Because his son satisfied that justice. Jer je njegov sin udovoljio zahtjevima pravde. When he died for them all. Kada je umro za sve njih. Have you learned some new things? Da li ste naučili neke nove stvari? I haven't even touched on this much of what the gospel is. Nisam dotakao toliko onoga što znači evanđelje. I'm going to leave here tomorrow so sad. Sutra ću vas napustiti. Because we haven't even begun to begin to study the gospel of Jesus Christ. Započeli početi učiti evanđelje. The effects of his death on Calvary učinak njegove smrti na Kalvariju are not just global. Nije samo globalan. They're not just universal. Nije samo univerzalan. They're beyond cosmic. To je izvan kozmosa. Everything in heaven and earth reconciled through this one death. Sve na nebu i na zemlji je pomireno kroz ovu smrt. And when he died i kada je umro he paid in full. Platio je punu cijenu. One of the great Puritans, John Flavel. John Flavel, jedan od velikih puritanaca. His first volume of his works are absolutely phenomenal. Prvi volim njegovih dijela je fenomenalan. It's worth learning English just to read them. Znači, vrijedi naučiti engleski samo kako bi se to čitalo. What he says is this. Ono što kaže je sljedeće. That the son asked the father. Da je sin pitao oca. Father, bring in all their bills, everything they owe you. Oče, donesi mi sve račune, sve ono što ti oni duguju. Bring it all in. Sve to donesi. I want to see it. Ja to želim vidjeti. Because when I pay for it, jer kada platim za to, I want to make sure I have paid for every bill. Želim biti siguran da sam platio za svaki račun. So that justice will never go to them to collect again. Jer tako neće više nikad pravda doći i moći to tražiti od njih. Everything paid for. Sve je plaćeno. Everything. Sve je plaćeno. Now, go with me just a moment. Pogledajmo još za trenutak. Go to me to, I'm trying to figure out what we leave out. Go with me to Psalms 24. Psalm 24. This is the ascension psalm. Ovo je psalam uzdizanja kod očasnička pjesma. And in this ascension psalm there are glimpses of Christ. I u ovoj pjesmi postoji mali uvidi u Krista. Now, look at verse 3. Treći redak. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord who may stand in his holy place? Tko će uzeti na goru Jahvinu? Tko će staviti na sveto mjesto njegovu? Who may go to heaven? Tko može ići u nebo? Well, let's see. Pogledajmo. Verse four. Četvrti redak. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood and has not sworn deceitfully. 
Onaj u koga su ruke čiste i srce nedužno, duša mu se ne preda ispraznosti, ne kune se varavo. Who can go to heaven? Tko može ići u nebo? None of us. Nitko od nas. None of us. Nitko od nas. It's a terrible thing to be a wicked man. Grozna stvar je biti opak čovjek. But I guess even in that, ali čak i u tome, God can use it. Bog to može upotrijebiti. Before I knew Christ, prije nego što sam ja upoznao Krista, I was so wicked. Ja sam bio tako pokvaren. The things I've done, stvari koje sam ja učinio. You see, the advantage to that is prednost toga je there's no doubt in my mind. U mom umu nema ni trunke sumnje. I only deserve one thing. Ja zaslužujem samo jednu stvar. Hell. Pakao. Hell. Pakao. That's it. I to je to. Nothing else. Ništa više. I am sure you are much finer people than I was. Ja sam siguran da ste vi bili puno bolji ljudi nego ja. But I sure hope you see the same thing about yourself. Ali nadam se da ćete to vidjeti isto iza samog sebe. You deserve hell. Vi ste zaslužili smrt. I don't care who you are. Baš me briga tko ste. I don't care if you're a 15 year old missionary daughter, you deserve hell. Čak i ako ste neka misionara, zaslužujete pakao, zaslužiš pakao. I don't care if all you've ever done is read the Bible 24 hours a day, all you deserve is hell. Čak i ako čitate Bibliju 24 sata na dan i dalje zaslužuješ pakao. My sons, my children have been spared from such evil. Moji sinovi, moje djeca su pošteđeni takvog zla. They have no idea what their father was. Oni nemaju pojma što je njegov, njihov otac bio. And they've never done anything their father's done. I oni nisu nikad učinili ono što je njihov otac napravio. Yet I tell them over and over. A ja imam ponovno i ponovno kažem. You deserve hell just as much as I did. Vi zaslužujete pakao isto kao ja. When you look at this. Kada to pogledate. Who can go to heaven? Ko može ići na nebo? There's the answer. Evo odgovora. No one. Nitko. No hope. Nema nade. It's like when no one could open up the books in heaven. Kao da niko ne može otvoriti knjigu u nebu. And John wept. I Ivan je zaplakao. Now that's talking about something different. Malo govori o nekim drugim stvarima. But we can sense the sadness. Ali možemo osjetiti tu tugu. Imagine all of us standing there. I zamislite da svi mi tamo stojimo. And we're thinking, who can go, can we get in? I možemo li ući? And then the requirements are given. I onda su ovdje dani uvjeti. Do you know what it's like to have no hope? Znate li kako je biti bez nade. None. Nitko. That's us. To smo mi. And then when we've lost all hope. I onda kad smo izgubili svu nadu. There is one among us. Postoji jedan među nama. An older brother. Naš stariji brat. Our elder brother. Naš stariji brat. He has overcome. On je pobjedio. Do you see that? Vidite to. He lived the perfect life we couldn't live. On je živio savršeni život kojeg mi nismo. He went to Calvary on our behalf. On je otišao na Kalvariju na križ zbog nas. He died and rose again from the dead. On je umro ali uskrsnuo iz mrtvih. You and I can't even approach the gates of heaven. Vi ja ne možemo ni doći blizu vratiju neba. We stand there in fear. Mi tu stojimo u strahu. And all of a sudden i odjednom he passes through us. On prolazi kroz nas. And he walks up to the gates of heaven. I on dolazi do vrata neba. And this is what he says. Jeste što kaže? Verse 7. 7. redak. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, old ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Podignite vrata, nadvratnike svoje, dižite se dveri vječne da uniđe kraj slave. And from inside of heaven a unutar neba. Angels are run confusion. Uh, angeli su zbunjeni. They climb the wall. Penju se na zidove. They look over. Gledaju preko. Who is this? Tko je to? 
No man has ever cried out to these gates. Nijedan čovjek nije došao do ovih vrata. No man has ever dared extend his hand and touch the latch. Nijedan čovjek se nije usudio pružiti svoju ruku na kvaku. And so they cry out, who is this king of glory? I onda se pitaju tko je taj kralj slave. And then he answers again. Jevo odgovara. Verse 8. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Jakve silan i junačan, jakve silan u boju. Podignite vrata, nadrtnike svoje, dižite se dveri vječne, da uniđe kraj slave. Tko je taj kraj slave? Jakve nad vojskama. For the first time in all of time. I prvi trenutak u svom vremenu. The gates open to a man. Vrata su se otvorila za čovjeka. The God man. Bogo čovjeka. Our victor. Našeg pobjednika. Our champion. Našeg prvaka. Our elder brother. Našeg starijeg brata. Flesh of our flesh. Našeg mesa. Bone of our bone. Tijelo i kosti od naših kostiju. And he walks up to the throne of God. I on dolazi do prijestolja Božjega. And he's not like Esther. I on nije poput Estere. Esther was afraid. Esther je bila uplašena. Will he extend his scepter? Esther thought. Esther je mislila hoće li on dignuti svoje žezlo. But Christ walks up the throne. Ali Krist dolazi do prijestolja Božjega. Not by grace. Ne po milosti. By his own virtue and merit. Već zbog svojih vlastitih zasluga i vrijednosti. And sits down at the right hand of God. I sjede sa desne strane Boga. And he ever lives to intercede for us. I on živi vječno da postraduje za nas. He has done it. On je to učinio. What Adam could not do. Ono što Adam nije mogao učiniti. What tens of billions of us could not do. Što desetke milijardi ljudi nas nije mogao učiniti. He did. On je učinio. There is one God. Jedan Bog. And one mediator. I jedan posrednik. Between God and man. Između Boga i čovjeka. The man Christ Sometimes students have asked me. Ponekad me studenti pitaju. Well, he was at the right hand of the Father before he became a man. On je bio s desne strane oca prije nego što je postao čovjek. So now he's been exalted again to the same place. I sada je uzvišen ponovno na isto mjesto. What's the difference? Koja je razlika? What's the difference? Koja je razlika? The one who sits there. One koji tamo sjedi. Is our brother. Je naš brat. And one day when I stand before him, jednog dana kada stanem pred njega, I'll not be looking in the face of a judge. Ja neću gledati u lice sudca, but a father, već oca, and a brother, i brata. A father who gave his son for me, oca koji je dao svog sina za mene, and a son who willingly came for me, i sina koji je dobrovoljno došao zbog mene. And the most amazing thing, throughout all eternity, before the world was even made, the Father, Son, and the Spirit lived in this perfect relationship of love and delight. Otac, Sin, i Duh Sveti živjeli su u savršenom jedinstvu ljubav i sklada. But now through the cross and resurrection, ali sada kroz križ i uskrsnuće, what does Jesus say about you? Što Isus kaže o tebi i meni? As the Father has loved me, kao što otac mene ljubio, He loves you. Tako i tebe ljubi. And you have been brought in to this delight. I vi ste uvedeni u taj užitak. Love between the Father and the Son. U tu radost, tu ljubav između oca i sina. But throughout all the ages, ali kroz sve vjekove, what will be your testimony? Što će biti tvoje svjedočanstvo? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Isus, Isus. Everything I have is in Him. Sve što imam je u njemu. As I told the group a few days ago, kao što sam rekao skupini prije nekoliko dana, I'm not going to walk up to my brother in heaven ja neću doći do mog brata u nebu and call a bunch of people i zvati puno ljudi and say, hey, our brother's going to give a testimony hey, naš brat će dati sjedočanstvo of all the great things he did for God. O svih tih velikih stvari što je on učinio za Boga. So let's sit down for 10,000 years and listen. Ajmo, sjeste 10.000 godina i slušati. I'm not going to say that. Ja to neću reći. I'm going to say this. Hey, everybody, gather around. 
Sjedite ovdje svi zajedno. Sit down for about 10,000 years. Sjedimo za otprilike 10.000 godina. Our brothers going to tell us everything God did for him. Naš brat će nam ispričati sve što je ono, sve ono što je Bog njegov učinio za njega. And you know what he'll say? I znate što će on reći? 10.000 years won't be enough time. 10.000 godina neće baš biti dovoljno vremena. It's all him. Radi se o njemu. And when we say it's anything else. I kada kažemo bilo što drugo, Mm-mm. No. Ne. I'm going to fight you. Ja ću se boriti protiv toga. God did not do all of this. Bog to nije sve učinio. God did not do all of this. Da Bog nije sve to učinio. For someone then to come around and say, i da neko onda dođe i da kaže, you don't really need Jesus. Pa tebi ne treba baš Isus. No. Ne. You do. Treba ti. Tomorrow we're going to talk about our response. Sutra ćemo govoriti o našem odgovoru. After you preach the gospel, nakon što propovijedate evanđelje, what do you tell men to do? Što govorite ljudima da treba učiniti? What do you tell children to do? Što govorite djeci da čine? You tell them to repent. Govorite im da se pokaju and to believe the gospel. I da vjeruju evanđelje. And you explain to them what that means. I onda im objasnite što to znači. There's so much more. Ima toliko toga još što mogu reći. But I've either got to go or fall down. So. Ali mora ići ili ću pasti. Let's pray. Molimo se. Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters that are here. Oče, hvala ti za moju braću i sestre koji su ovdje. Please bless them with a greater and greater understanding of your son. Molim te blagoslovi ih sa sve većim i većim razumijevanjem tko je tvoj sin. In Jesus name. U Isusovom imenu. Amen. Amen.